Good day, folks. Welcome back to Stuff and Such. We're doing a quick video here for Woodland Mills. The uh, so I have the TF810. If you've been following my channel for a bit, you've seen there's been a few issues going on with it, and I've kind of been documenting as we go along with dealing with the uh, warranty and customer service and seeing where we're getting. So where we're currently at in the last video, I showed the uh, the uh, blades all destroyed busted all up and if you haven't seen that go and watch that anyway so now recently they they've sent me another uh, PTO shaft where she's standing at and it uh, so they sent me the original PTO shaft again the original equipment with the shear bolt claiming they want to see if there's a problem they feel like it should being that they they claim since they sold so many on the WC 88 that there's real reason why it shouldn't work and maybe that that shaft is defective I kind of uh, am skeptical on that um, just cuz I could be proved wrong but I I wouldn't bet on it so basically this video is just basically I threw that other shaft on that they sent me and I'll beat beat it up a bit with well it's, it feels like it's beaten up but it's not even supposed to be feeling it they claim it can do way more I'll take over to what busted the blades So here's the chunk that busted the blade. As you can you might be able to tell, the blade got lodged in the face right there and took it out. Wanted to do a little bit of a side by side comparison of the two shafts. You can kind of tell the slip clutch one is a fair bit more beefy. This one measures in just around three and an eighth. And this one Can you hold that up, Kills? This one measures about three and five eighths. So a fair bit more robust. Slip clutch on this end. And then the new one that's on it now. I'll show you that. So on this one, you're supposed to put the, the shear bolt on the implement side, but it is absolutely miserable doing it in there. And after 20, I got sick of it. So I threw it on this side for now, and it shouldn't be a problem. It's really challenging to get all up and in there. And when you're doing it every 10 minutes, it's, it gets old quick. So I got a few already down. I don't see any here that are likely to break it, except maybe this one over here. It's pretty small, about four inch ash, so it's not a very hard wood. It's kind of a mid hard wood, but I'll, I don't want to start right away hard with it, being that I just put new blades in it, I don't want to do something. I don't know what I could do to stop it from doing whatever it's going to do anyway, so. Yeah, let's fire it up. Let's start feeding.
Well, there we have it. Not even five minutes into operation here. Broke another shear bolt on the new drive shaft, PTO shaft, so. Obviously that's not the issue. Um, if Woodland watches this, send me the dimensions on the blade seats so I can measure them up. Send, send me the drawings okay. with the tolerances so I can see what, what we're at for that. 50 thou can make a big difference. It'll be interesting to see what the what the engineer drawings are saying it calls for and what kind of allowances because it seems like some machines out there are falling within tolerance of something and it all seems to stem from trying to chip way too aggressively. So I'll probably not chip for the rest of the weekend because I don't feel like taking out these blades from shocking it. The slip clutch can obviously handle more horsepower which can give more uh, shock load to the um, the uh, slip clutch or to the blades rather which would cause them to crack so that's the update for now bye it's bye for now bye for now <laughs> bye for now <laughs>